Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. So today we're going to have probably the last yeah. Citra Smash. I might have one more. I think I have one more. Okay, so maybe you guys will have to put us put up with us for another month yeah. <laughs> on these. So this is, it's our third, right? Because the first time the, the Mare Sodder and Citra Smash was better mm -hmm. than the second time. The two row in Citra was better, so I'll pour this one. You pour that one. So um, was that a five point four years? Was that a seven? Seven point one four. Um, all these papers somewhere in here. Um, so this was brewed on two uh, twenty five nineteen. Uh, Bottled on three nine nineteen. So it's been yeah, a minute. A while. Um, characteristics: tropical fruit, peach, which I've never got peach out of Citra, passion fruit, and guava is what it calls for. Carbonation Good. looks fine. So this was technically the first beer that we both brewed as a smash because i did my citra your citra yep um you're good okay <laughs> <laughs> so uh i did the amarillo first then this is the first beer that we got to try both yes yeah, so side. yep so uh mine is on the left steve is on the right mine has a little bit more of a head yes Color-wise, though, whew, same. that is close. If anything, I would say Steve's is a little bit darker, but for Mare Sodder, it should be. Expected. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, from last time, we know what could happen here. <laughs> Smell oh. yours first. Still that Citra light kind of... I get more of a sugar. Yeah. It's yeah, I think it's it's going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> the malts the malts coming out a little more. Yeah. Here's mine. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> we have to drink that. It's kinda it's it's very Maris Otter malty. Yeah, I was gonna say malty musty. Yes, malty <laughs> like a, musty, like a basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not smelling that one anymore. I'm tasting yours first. <laughs> okay. Still has like a zesty quality. Yeah. Zesty bitterness is what I would say. It got a little sweeter, I think. If I mm -hmm. were to criticize it at all but it's it's good it balanced well i think zesty bitterness a little bit with of... a little bit more malt mm -hmm. and it's not it's not like it's sweet but the no. malt is like kind of grainy yeah like it's it's yeah there. like that zestiness of almost if you took like an orange, a lemon, a lime, zested like one of each and stuck them in there. That's like what the back is. Yeah, I agree. Which is surprising, but not surprising because the alpha acid should start going down. And this being two months old, we should start seeing that. And that malt should come up. But to me, that, that zesty bitterness is still present. Like, I'm here. I'm staying here. Good luck getting rid of me. <laughs> now the dreaded. We didn't like it last time. Let's see what happened. Uh oh. It smells just like it tastes. Oh. Nope. That one's done. Oh. What is it though? Musty. <laughs> Uh, we got one more, and I hope it's not like that. The, it's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's amazing how fast this went downhill. Yeah. If you're going to have a party, 
brew it two weeks before, let it, you know, ferment for a week, put it in a keg, let it keg for carbon eight for a week, serve it. Make sure you can get rid of it because after that, it, it's, I would say so far that Marisot or Citra week one when we tasted it is the best Citra IPA I've ever had. After that, it's been the worst beer I've ever had. Yeah. Like, that's worse than my four ounces of Mount Hood. This, this <laughs> wind right here, this thing. Mm. Yeah, that tastes way better. Yeah. It's way... It, I think it's balanced now. Yeah, I, I think it's balanced pretty well. And that's what scares me about using the two pounds of malt that it's not going to be balanced well once Over it gets time. two months, three months old. Oh, you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, geez. it's carbonated. Um, I think it's balanced well. I think that bitterness on the back does help. I think next month i hope that the the malt takes over a tiny bit more this is raw two row so it's a standard two row malt yeah it's not as dry as it used to be I think. yeah um i think the the malt has started to come forward because the hops have kind of come down a little but nothing like mine i think you have to be a true ipa fan to like this though because it's not really fruity, it's not really citrus, it's just like that zesty bitterness quality. Sorry, right. the dog's going crazy. Yeah, it is. It's bitter. It's not, um, you don't get the full effect of citra, I think. Right. Um, Which is weird because yeah, it's it only two months well. old. I know. It, 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 it seems like our beers are not aging well. Right. It, well, I say this. Well, yours mine is not <laughs> aging well at all. Yours is like it's the it's mellowing. You know it's what I mean? It's mellow, like mellowing, but the bitterness is coming up. Yeah, which is weird because the alpha acid should fall off, so the bitterness should go down. Right, but and the, the, it's almost the flavor yeah. tropical stuff is falling off. Yeah, which is weird to me because you know, and I realize we don't operate in a manufacturing you know environment right. but you buy you know hop slam and yeah it's good for it, three months yeah and how is ours not making it three yeah. months but have we tasted a hop slam after three months that's ten percent you know because you're you're adding a lot more malt in that than you are a beer like this so it doesn't have that backbone to last over time sure because i would i can't remember i'm trying to remember how fresh i've had hop slam but i bet you if you tasted it the day it was canned it wouldn't be that good probably not you know it would get better you know two three weeks then it would level off they almost then. put in that we yeah. know it's gonna age yeah. for at least yeah but yeah. Yeah, I would say stay away from Maris Otter, Citra, unless you're going to have a party in two weeks, you can brew it, get rid of it, because it's about the best thing. We, it's the best thing we've had, and that's hard because we just had Lemon Drop, and that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you liked this video. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. So the dogs were going crazy. Uh, thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.